Oh, good. More dirt. Hey! Woo! More dirt roads! What's up, everybody? Moose here. Out and about on the bike today. I am in, uh, well, near Kalamazoo. Took the back way over. Uh, went through three rivers. Uh, well, just went by Calhaven State Park, which I've never been to. I just drove by, rode by that. Goldwyn sit over there in the park a lot. And uh, here I be. A little over 100 miles in so far today. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous day. I'm going to take off here in a little bit and get moving. But I uh, thought I'd do a quick look around, let you see some of the wooded area. It's a gorgeous day outside, it's like 80 some degrees. Couldn't go wrong with the weather. There's the gold wing over there. Got it parked in the sun, bacon. Loving the automatic. It's been perfect for. Oh man, riding in these roads. I'm loving it. I don't miss the Harley one bit. I do not miss that bike at all. I miss the look. I don't miss the bike. Sure don't get hit here. The gold wing just makes up for everything you can ever want to make up for. Perfect. This is like a fun trail. I think I wouldn't mind coming down here sometime and actually walking or biking it. A bicycle. It's not going to happen to die. Used to be an old railroad line going down through here. That's where a lot of these kind of tracks come from. Old railroad lines. This is the, uh, I want to say the Alamo railroad line. That's what this is called. Gorgeous area, though. Never been here. According to this sign right here, there used to be uh, cabins and stuff, of course, on the railroad. Got a look at it right there. Calhaven Trail, Alamo. Alamo, yeah, something like that. But, yep, that's what we're doing. It's out and about. Join the day. More to come. How's it going, everybody? Who's here? And we are leaving the Alamo Trail in Calhaven. It is a busy, busy spot. Boy, there's a lot of people here. Not surprising, it's a walking, biking trail, so. Let some people go with their kids. No big hurry today. Just out and about. Oh, man. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got the 360 out, as you can tell by the opening of the video. I'll explain where we are. Just out enjoying the day. Oh, my mask is a mess. I cleaned the windshield and the mask on this helmet before I left the house today. Bugs are horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, excuse the bug guts. Lower the windshield down a little wind in here. It's warm. Yep, it's been a great day so far, but I need to probably, uh, I think I'll probably start heading home. I can do some relaxing for the weekend. What not, you know. But it might take a minute to get there. Been watching, catching up some of y'all's videos on the uh, internet there. I don't always have a lot of time to do so. So I took a day and took some time to watch some of them. Which was a lot of fun. I have never been out here before, ever. So I don't know any of these roads. I know where I'm going. <laughs>
don't have a whole lot to say just out and about it's nice having a day where you just go riding went ahead and set my tent up today and my tarp again got a lot faster than that which is good speaking of Mike Cayley 7 and stuff I'm pretty sure he's leaning more toward the hotel inside of things <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure myself. Myself, I think camping would be kind of fun on a bike, but I can also see from a standpoint of it could be a lot easier in a hotel, you know. But then easier on what side of it? You still got to walk your stuff up. You can't just let it all sit down the bike. So, okay, sure, you're spending time putting a tent up, maybe, and getting things situated. And you gotta cook. Whoa. Well, I guess we're dirt roading it. Son of a bitch. But, uh. So you got that side of it. You can either take multiple trips or one trip or more up to the hotel room to drop your stuff off. Or you can just unload it in a campsite. Uh, half a dozen to one, one or the other. Oh, they just regraded this too. Oh, 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 wonderful. Perfect. Ooh, this is loose. Well, anyways. It's short-lived. Just dirt. Wasn't expecting a... It's almost like they laid it over the pavement. That's weird. Oh, man. What the hell did they spill there? So, yeah. That was fun. Wasn't too worried about the dirt road until all of a sudden I realized it's just been freshly added dirt. And that makes it kind of slick. Oh, Goldwing did just fine with it, though. But anyways, back to the whole camping thing. So, yeah, you spend time taking up a hotel. You got to find a hotel if you don't already have one. Same thing with camping. You got to find a campground if you don't already have one reserved. They all take time, just different amounts. They're doing different things. Like the hotel, you might make more time getting your stuff up there and whatnot we're camping you might take more time getting your stuff out and putting it up and then there's always a chance of weather you know you can have uh, good weather or bad weather obviously if it's bad weather it's much easier just to dunk into a hotel than it is to uh, try to set your gear up out in the rain so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence I mean I bought all the stuff to go camping with but I more or less did that because I wanted to go hiking sometime this year I'm planning on starting that in July doing some hiking and trips so that's basically what the camping gear was for um, but where the hell am I at oh I'm on GF well, and tar and stone lovely up inside the wheel wells so yeah there's decisions to be made Oh, man. Fucking bugs. I'll sort it out eventually. What the? Man, is this just like construction av? <laughs> There's a shit everywhere. We'll go this way. Make a big loop. Oh, welcome to Alamo Township. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. So I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on the whole camping thing, why biking, or you're more into hotel rooms, camping. I've only done motorcycle camping twice since I've been riding. I used to camp a lot more when I was younger. Uh, most of my motorcycle trips in the past have been hotels or uh, other friends' houses that I stayed at on trips. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm a lot older, <laughs> 10, 12 years older than I was back then. So I'm sure that's going to play some into it, of course. And uh, I mean, you got a standpoint, a couple different things you can look at. You're saving money by camping. Yeah, probably. Overall. Uh, takes money to get the camping gear if you don't already have it, so 
Got to spin that. You got to carry it on the bike. Takes up more room. I don't have a passenger, so that helps. I got the back seat available, but if not, I'd have to figure out with how to pack it. Chances are it'd be a trailer if you go with a significant other or something, or you're really scaling down on where you're taking, or you're just taking the bare essentials. Man, this road is rough. So there's choices and decisions to be made. I'll figure it out eventually, but if you all got some... Uh, Advices of wisdom from doing it or not doing it, that'd be much appreciative. No idea what the speed limit is. But, I suppose I'm going to cut it off here unless something terribly interesting happens, which I somehow doubt. Probably stop, get the phone all hooked up and GPS and get home. But I enjoyed talking to y'all. I'll see you later. Moves out. See ya. Bye. I just seem to love the dirt roads. I keep finding myself on them today. Adds a whole new level of excitement to it. I appreciate you slowing down, sir. Mighty kind of you. It's a pretty area. A lot of fields. Rural farming area. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah, pretty. That's where I'll be yours one day. <laughs> yep, yep. Maybe we'll get the drone out. Could be fun.